Hey guys, Haunted Wow here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the three new zombie types coming in the next H1Z1 Just Survive patch. We have the Exploder, the Gasser, and the Screamer. Also, we're going to be talking about the Sonic Nade and the hit markers that are being implemented into the patch. If you guys do like the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. I'll see you on my Twitch channel. Peace. So first up, we have the Exploder Zombie. Now, the Exploder Zombie seems a little pointless, but it actually has a point within hordes of zombies. Now, currently in the game of H1Z1 Just Survive, the easiest way to take out a zombie horde is just by running them over. Well, you're not going to be able to do that anymore with the Exploder Zombies. With the addition of Exploder Zombies, they explode. Wow, I bet you didn't, bet you didn't guess. Um, but uh, if you were to run one over with a vehicle, your vehicle would explode. Uh, it does an AoE damage and can damage structures and vehicles. It also has a distinct particle effect and always is wearing a hockey mask for easy identification in zombie hordes and stuff. He will also run up to you to the best of his ability and explode. So if you do see one get on top of you, you better move away as fast as possible. And while exposed to sunlight, they will explode. So, you know, probably the best time to go out is going to be around daytime to avoid exploders. At least driving your cars. So second of all, we have the gasser. Uh, the gasser has a huge cloud of gas around the zombie and wears respirators easy identification you know so you can see it in the crowd just like the exploder when it dies it explodes for aoe gas damage now the dev said if you don't kill the uh gasser fast enough it's going to just release gas to the surrounding zombies which can become gassers themselves um and it's a standard walker it doesn't sprint and uh yeah it's pretty basic now for the zombie we've all been waiting for, the Screamer. The Screamer is found on its knees in an idle position. Uh, the Screamer, once aggroed, will scream and disorient a player, drawing other zombies in. So, you know, if you come across a Screamer and it starts to scream and disorienting you, other zombies are going to start rushing you and making scenarios super difficult. Also, when the Screamer screams, you're going to be slowed, basically snared. Uh, the Sonic Scream does AoE damage and will blow up vehicles and player-built designs, from what the dev said. After enough damage, her arms will become free and will swing on you rapidly, doing high, intense DPS. She is very tanky, and the dev said the best way to take her down is via melee damage, if you can do so without dying. Now, onto the Screamer need. If you use an empty syringe on a Screamer once dead, you take the virus to the hospital for plasma, and go to the military base for sonic grenades, mix those two together via crafting, you can make a screen grenade, which functions like a pipe bomb for left for dead. It draws zombies in and explodes taking out hordes. This can be very useful in team fights and clutch scenarios where you need to get the zombie hordes off of you and get rid of the zombies. And one last thing to wrap this whole video up, devs did add hit markers. Not sure if it's going to work on players, but surely does function when connecting with zombies. Do I personally think hit markers are a good thing to have in a survival game? No, but we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. I'll see you guys on Twitch.